All right, here we are for round two. Um, we are definitely going to play first. This looks good. We've only got two land, but we've got our Gorehouse Chainwalker and Splatter Thugs. So we're going to go with that. Hope to draw a land in the next couple turns. going to say hello and good luck to our opponent. And we are going to be off. So we'll probably lead off with the mountain just in case we draw our Frostburn Weird. And let's see what he does. Island. All right. So we're either Azorius or is it? There's our third land. We're just going to play out the Chainwalker. And definitely unleash him. We've got no reason not to at this point. Ship it back. Alright, looks like we're playing Is It. Is It is a combination I really like, that's for sure. Ah, uh, an action injunction. So we're not attacking next turn, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. We've got a turn three splatter thug coming right up. Since we've got our goblin rally that's double red, I'm playing the uh, the mountain here. And we're unleashing the splatter thug for sure. So turn three with is it? Oh, is it splash black, huh? Oh, well, hellhole flailer. Not what we wanted to see. He is unleashing him though, so he won't be blocking us. We can hit him for six. He'll hit us for four. Um, we could auger spree it. That kind of seems good. Um, but since he can't block, I say we attack first. And uh, see what happens. Probably wait on the auger spree till his turn. Well, he is tapped out. Yeah, we'll just do it now. While he's tapped out so he doesn't have a cancel or anything like that. And let's see what he does. Blood Fray Giant. Man, this guy's got all the uh, uncommons I wish I had. <laughs> but that guy still can't block. And we're still hitting him for six. He's hitting us back for five. And we're ahead in that race. Traitorous Instinct. That's a good one. Um, we could hit him for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven here. That seems pretty good. Hit him for 11. But. Eh. Might want to save it just to see what he plays out next. And play our Tavern Swindler. Just to get another guy on the board. So next turn we'll be hitting for lethal. Eight. And this guy can't block, so if he plays a blocker, we can steal it. So let's see what happens. Not going to block him. And he just gave up. That, that, that was easy. All right, so we didn't see much from him. Just a blood fray giant and uh, gorehouse chain walker. Could use Skull Ren to get those out of his hand. But, you know, I don't think we really need to. Shred Freak to speed us up a little bit. Hmm, yeah. Let's see here. Everything looks pretty good to me. I mean, we could bring in the Lobber Crew to finish him out. Cobble Brute's a big guy on turn four. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if we really need anything else. Let's see if we put in the Cobble Brute, but take out a Jailbreaker. 
Or a launch party? Nah. We'll just ship it back. I, I think we've got a good match against this guy. Um, we've got three lands, a cat glare, and a weird. And a splatter thug. This looks awesome, actually. Start off with a cackler, go into the... Uh, we can't even play the weird. Ah, we can't even play the splatter thug, actually. We need to draw a mountain. But we're going to risk it. See what happens. I think we got a pretty good chance of drawing one mountain in the next couple turns. So the weird is probably out. But, you know, we could draw a tra tavern swindler next turn and... Annihilating Fire, that's not going to get played anytime soon, but that's okay. So we got the Cackler, we're unleashing him for sure. We just want to be aggressive against this guy. Oh, a Chainwalker that we cannot play. That kind of sucks, but at least we're getting in two damage. And we'll just say go. Hopefully we draw a mountain next turn. That would be the goal. I really like the Cackler. I wish I had one more in this deck. Alright, so he's not doing anything. We didn't draw our mountain, but we've got a Thrill Kill Assassin. So I think that's good. Um, I'm thinking we don't unleash the Thrill Kill Assassin because we know he has a he has those big blood fray giants and stuff, and this way we can always uh, have the option of blocking. I'm liking that a little better. We're not quite as aggressive this uh, time as last time. So, yep, there's the giant. Is he gonna unleash him? He is. So the Cackler can still get through. We'll get a Tavern Swindler. I'm waiting on that mountain. We'll attack with the Cackler. Get our two points in. And um, play the Swindler, I guess. And the next turn we can hit him for four. He can't really attack us here. I mean, the Giant has Trample. So it would do three damage to us. But it would get killed. I mean, if he wants to do that, I'll, I'll make that trade. Nope. Just passing the turn back with five mana up. Ooh, a Jailbreaker's nice, but we don't have the mana for it. That's all right. I, I think I think we're ahead here. I we'll hit him for four, put him down to ten. Um, we'll leave the Thrill Kill Assassin back. I don't think he wants to trade the Blood Fray Giant for it. And hopefully we draw a land next turn. Preferably a mountain, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Just an untapped land would be good. Is that five mana? Ooh, Pursuit of Flight. We haven't seen... Uh... Well, he does have blue mana. We saw that last game, but he doesn't have it out now. All right, so we got our land. Going to attack for four, play the uh, Jailbreaker, and say go. So he could hit us for five next turn, trample damage, but I still don't think he wants to trade the Giant for the Assassin. I just love that Thrill Kill Assassin just exactly for times like these. Just holds back their biggest guy. Ah, there's our mountain. So, well, Jailbreaker can attack. We could Dyna charge everyone, hit him for four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah, let's Dyna charge. Overloaded. 
Don't see really what he's going to do here. And we got it. All right. That was pretty good. I'll see you in round, uh, round three, guys.